And welcome to Good Comp, Bad Comp, a purposefully ridiculous exercise in, in which White Sox play-by-play man Jason Benetti and I, Matt Spiegel, try to find the perfect comp and circumstance for a ball player of note. Hello, Jason! Hi, bedroom Matt. <laughs> yes, this is where the magic happens. Don't let the mind wander. Stay focused. Um, you were a part, a big part, of maybe the greatest sports moment of this godforsaken 2020. That was beautiful theater, baseball or not, frankly, the other night when Lucas Giolito threw the no-hitter. How is your life now that you've called a no-hitter, Jason? Well, I've got a whole new room to do good comp, bad comp in. <laughs> no, I, look, I am so thrilled for Lucas Giolito, the person, because uh, – he does so much for so many people as a teammate, as, as a pet owner, right? Like as an adoption guy for animals, as somebody who cares about society and wants to just do better. I am so thrilled for him after that 2018 he had. I mean, he could write a book right now, and a lot of kids playing youth baseball would want to read it because the, the reclamation he did of his own career – is a wonderful story of perseverance. Yes, it is. It's a testament to the possibilities for human development. It really is. Take control and work on your stuff, and who knows what can happen. Um, the next group of people that really need to improve, I think, are baseball scouts, who have been lazily comping ball players to ball players for lo these many decades. The world is bigger than that. How about television shows? How about um, farm equipment? How about books? How about painters and musicians, right? Anything. Yeah, uh, do even better than you do. And I would say this, scouts work so super hard, but it's a little bit of tunnel vision. Like we need scouts very badly, but then to create yes. more in your mind of what the possibilities are. I mean, imagine if a scout turned in paperwork right now and said, you know what? That guy reminds me of a peanut butter chocolate milkshake. <laughs> I'm and they're signing like, him immediately. I don't yeah. care who it is. I'm signing him right away. I mean, it would be great. Uh, pro you yeah. probably get a raise, I think. I, I, I think. And, um, and they should all keep their jobs, damn it. Um, editorial comment, completely intentional. All right, so let's get to today's ball player. Today we are going to comp the brilliant, the stately, the consistent, and the still excellent Jose Abreu. Every year it's the same thing. It's like 30 homers. He, he's going to do a number on you in the RBI column. He is a great leader and a great teammate. And what's interesting is the way you introduced him, I think you're actually shaping our minds. You're like priming us to make your comparison the better one. And I like the sly idea that you had there. Uh, and, but I think it's a little craftier than, than I was ready for it today. I mean, I honestly, it was so crafty. I think my sprinkler system is going to go off. <laughs> I, I love I love your new locale. There are pictures and books and things, but it's the sprinkler that really ties the room together. Um, yep. Go ahead, Jason. You you can go first on, on Jose Abreu. What you got? Okay, so I'm going to be quick here uh, because I think it actually pretty well speaks for itself. This is one of those when you hear it, you're going to say, wow, it is so absolutely true. Uh, Jose Abreu came over in his late 20s to start playing in Major League Baseball. He was well established at what he was doing before that in Cuba. And so to me, he reminds me of the great musician, the late musician, Bill Withers. Uh, Bill Withers started his music career after a long tour in the Navy at age 29. Uh, Jose Abreu's first MLB season was his age 27 year, but Bill Withers was very well established in the Navy and he was like building parts for airline corporations and things like that. Then Jose Abreu comes over and he's the rookie of the year immediately. Bill Withers very quickly into his music career came out with Ain't No Sunshine. And we're still grooving along to Ain't No Sunshine right now. And you say Bill Withers and that's probably hit number one you think of, if not that, it is Lean On Me, which is the perfect tonal comparison to Jose Abreu. He has been the guy that the White Sox have leaned on for years and years and years. Uh, Bill Withers quite often didn't see eye to eye with his people around him, with the, with the people who wanted to change his music and change his lyrics. And so he just sturdily became the guy that he knew in his heart. And Jose Abreu 
I mean, you talk about somebody who's true to himself and the way he plays the game. It's the same thing every day. And that's, I, I, this is a little bit, um, I would say this last comparison is something that you just sort of have to feel and wash over you. But I dare you to watch Jose Abreu and not see the smooth sound and the reliable beauty of Bill Withers. Oh, that's beautiful. I think the White Sox should keep using Jose Abreu until they use him up. And I think when he hit three homers at Wrigley the other night, it was a lovely day. If I'm doing my work for you, that's where I would go. I like your Bill Withers. And yet, it will finish second because I believe, and you will too after this, that Jose Abreu is almost exactly like our national parks system here in America. The national parks have always been there. Woodrow Wilson signed the Organic Act, creating the National Park Service in 16, 1916. The parks are majestic, powerfully consistent, and sometimes forgotten. Some of the most beautiful parts of the world that so many of us have never seen. Jose Abreu has basically always been there. Not just the six years of his White Sox career. He started playing professionally, as you mentioned, back when he was 16. Age 16. He played 10 years in Cuba, age 16 to 25. He had 30 homers three times in like an 89-game season. One of the best players in the world who so many of us had never seen. The national park system is comprised of 84 million acres. So far in his major league career, Jose Abreu has made nearly $84 million. When planning a vacation, Jason, so rarely as a nation have we thought of the national national park system. We used to think of exotic islands, stately Europe, or the coastal popular draws of Los Angeles and New York. Now the pandemic has narrowed our focus. Where can we drive to? And it has revealed the excellence in our national parks that was always here. When we looked at power hitting first baseman, so rarely as the national media thought of Jose Abreu, we looked at exotic Paul Goldschmidt, stately Joey Votto, um, or the coastal popular draws of Cody Bellinger and Pete Alonzo. Now the White Sox emergence has narrowed our focus and revealed the excellence that was always here. Jose Abreu is our national parks system. I want there to be John Williams music under that. <laughs> Beef, it's what's for dinner. Is that John Williams? No, I'm confusing figs. That was but beautiful. Well, you know, I, I think here's the truth. I'm taking a vacation to a national park within the next month or so because where else are you going to go in life? So it's got me thinking that I should be listening to Bill Withers and watching Jose Abreu highlights on my way to the national park. Then we're tying the whole thing together. Wow. Uh, you all have a tough choice right now. This is... Uh... It's, it's down the same vein. The question is, do you like music, beautiful, beautiful music, or do you like plants? <laughs> well, you can vote at my Twitter feed, at Matt Spiegel 670 or his Twitter feed. And also, all the good comp, bad comps are available, and the voting is available on my website at mattspiegel.com. Until next time, we are two virtual humans making isolation more bearable by producing absurdity. May all your life's comps be good ones. And on DVD as well. <laughs> <laughs>